We want to bring you along on our crazy adventure. This suburban exodus from the comfy suburbs of Houston, Texas, to a land that's wild and free. This adventure started with an idea and piece of raw land. Like, honestly, that's really all we had. Seven densely wooded acres in central Texas. We cleared half an acre for the home site. And we had to get the number one true resource to sustain any kind of life, water. Clean up the line. Water dance. Oh, oh, we get full blast. Blast. It'll be a There it is. That's all the way. <laughs> this whole idea came out of one singular desire to live debt free and mortgage free. What we were doing in the suburbs just wasn't aligning with that goal. So we changed things up. Mortgage-free in our 30s meant a much smaller house, less local taxes and fewer city amenities. So we decided to convert a 16 by 48 lofted shed into our full-time home. And the only plan that would work was to move into the shed to house as fast as we could. But to do that, there were some serious hoops to jump through. We needed power, septic, and plumbing right away. We were willing to live small, but in a big way. We traded our 2,000 square foot suburban home on an eighth of an acre for a home with a much smaller footprint and an outrageously large front and back deck for outside living space. And we kind of love it.
I do have to say, the most challenging install is also my favorite part of this entire place. That shiplap ceiling. It's the best background as we do school each morning and the sweetest fruit of our labor as I sit and read at night. The build itself wasn't what I'd call enjoyable. We got burnt out. Being apart for six weeks was really hard on us. So we were grateful that our contractor and our friend rocked this out and finished it without us. We took some time, regrouped in Dallas for a few days. And then when we came back. It was awesome. It was so good. Is that what you want? That is awesome. Awesome. Well, when we came back, we never left. We roughed it because it was better in the struggle together without flooring or hot water than it was being apart from each other. It is hot water. Happening, we have a laundry room. See, we're not nuts. Yeah. <laughs> After roughing life and doing dishes in the bathtub for two months, the day came when we finally installed our IKEA kitchen. Counter spaces have never looked so good. Yeah, I'm going to go there, because getting a second toilet was nothing short of glorious. Friends of ours came to visit and help us with our deck, and something they said stuck with me. Their son told us, if you don't have what you need, use what you got. 
allow me to show you that bathroom's barn door. It's just leftover shiplap from the ceiling because our original pocket door design was not viable. Instead, this scrappy little door now makes us pretty happy. So this might not be an every shed to house, a little bit fancier than normal, but this cable stair railing turned out incredible. We've come pretty far and still have far to go, but this house is comfy and cozy and the homestead is growing every day. Welcome to our Shed to House. We have had a lot of different versions of little videos, but today we're gonna show you the whole kit and caboodle, the whole thing to show you what it looks like to be a year into building your Shed to House. Let's check it out. 